It was inhabitable after the quarry shut down in the 1960s. But after a successful reclamation exercise, Bambui Hala Park is one of Mombasa's pride and also Kenya's lucrative tourism sites with positive ripple effect on the national economy. Managers of the park are in their own small way reducing emission by using alternative fuel. One of the priorities of the Sandai framework, a UN-backed intergovernmental negotiations which encourages nations to build resilient communities to strengthen disaster risk governance to manage disaster risk at the national, regional and global levels. And in terms of uh, uh, animal categories, uh, of the bigger mammals, around eight different um, uh, species, yeah, which range from the giraffe, the hippos, the buffaloes, and of the antelopes, they have different particular species. We have uh, oryx, we have elands, we have water bucks, we have bush bucks, and I also have uh, sable antelopes. Yeah. How much of a threat does climate change and global warming pose to the park? and the species that are in here and your business? What we've been doing, uh, we've been working, at, uh, working on uh, reducing uh, emissions by having alternative fuels. Home to some eight different species of mammals, Hala Park welcomes 16,000 tourists annually. The tourists also come to see the reptile park, which hosts some eight different species of reptiles. There are also different species of butterflies, and a fish farm, all in the 300 hectares park. Hala Park gives me an opportunity to interact uh, with nature. Uh, we're able to tour around uh, the park, we're able to interact with different kinds of animals, we get to understand uh, their ecological uh, system. Um, we're able to feed these animals, we're able to understand uh, their history. So in a way, it, uh, it gives an opportunity to appreciate nature, to sort of mingle uh, in a friendly way um, with nature. The eco-friendly environment is impacting positively on life expectancy of the animals. A case in point is one of these tortoises, which is 160 years. But now it came a time whereby it was realized at their home, population was diminishing. So there was a need to conserve. Mm. Now, already the ones in the ship were thrown out. Lucky enough, they were washed ashore here. And then uh, people from this side admire them. They went to rescue. And then in return, they have to be brought over to us here. So we have 12. Already the oldest one is around 160 years old. Uh. For the many tourists, Kenyans and foreigners alike who visit the Hala Park, the Bambui model is the way to go if the world is to ever mitigate the effect of climate change. I think it's a really great initiative because um, they brought, you know, it used to be a quarry, but it still has the cement making company here and they wanted to do more with the land that they had and so they converted it into um, an, a sanctuary basically for animals and rescue animals and they have free range, most of them do, which I think is really important. Even one of the hippos was rescued from a circus. Um, for me it was really powerful to be able to interact with the animals um, and really insightful um, from the eco uh, manager of um, the park. He gave us, he's really knowledgeable, he's been working since the 90s here. Um, and I think uh, other countries and, and cities could learn from this example. They also have the fish farm that they use to, have, um, to make profit. So uh, it's a really good initiative, a win-win, um, that I think we could learn from, um, especially how to make something that was desolate into um, a natural environment for the animals. So it's UNDRR. Yes. Where, where would you place this initiative of conserving the forest yeah. and the ecosystem? How crucial is it when it comes to mitigating and it's, disaster it's, risk reduction? I think it's positive to see from the private sector them making this initiative on their own and that we can learn from it. So for them, you know, they still have their business and they're making money, but also, you know, they... You can make business from ecotourism. So um, 
I think that's something positive that other places can look at, that it's, it's better instead of treating the animals poorly or killing them, that you can use it as a tourism to also make money. So it's actually quite smart of um, the private sector to have made this initiative and hopefully others will learn from it. It has become a safe sanctuary for troubled species, like this hippo that was rescued in a mobile circus all the way in Germany. It has also become a safe haven for endangered animals facing life-threatening conditions in their original environment. And the police just fired another warning shot. Still, so you can see in the background, the Galamseyers are running away uh, upon hearing the warning shot by the police officer accompanying the minister. And there they are, kids as young as 10. Five years, they are all running away from the mining site here at Nananko, part of the Wasa enclave in the western region. In Ghana, however, a good number of the small-scale miners, particularly illegal miners, failed to reclaim the forest after their mining operations, not to think of transforming abundant sites into parks. Many mining companies leave gaping pits uncovered. A case of one system consciously working to restore and mitigate its environment against disasters and one that leaves the environment vulnerable and prone to disaster. So these animals and species like every other living organism on earth may be threatened by the spate of global warming and climate change, but managers of Hala Park say they are confident these animals and many other species in the earth will thrive and survive because of the mitigation efforts and steps that have been put here to ensure their survival. Latif Idris, John News, Hala Park, Mombasa County, Kenya.